Welcome to the DK Custom Products channel. Thanks for checking in with us. My name is Dwayne, this is Kevin. And several weeks ago, we made a pretty controversial video and we got a lot of comments. Uh, we also got a few emails recently from, uh, from our viewers that had some pretty substantial heat damage on late model, low mile bikes. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna read uh, an email that we got here and it says, this is a follow-up to my original question and your subsequent video on Harley oil usage. Last week, my good friend Phil took his 2015 Street Glide Special into the dealership because of excessive oil consumption. It only has 7,000 miles on it. He bought it used in 2018. It was burning two quarts of oil every 1,500 miles. And here's the big thing. A compression test showed 150 PSI on the front cylinder and 225 on the rear cylinder. There was a lot of thick carbon buildup on the pistons and combustion chambers and the compression was through the roof. Picture of the pistons is attached. So let's look at this and you can see how much carbon is built up. Yeah. So that changed the compression yeah. ratio. That's thick. You can, I mean, it's casting a shadow on that piston. <laughs> yeah. Thick. So, and and because of that, you know, the tune's no good, mm -hmm. it's not going to run well, because the tune's made for... A certain compression ratio. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, even with that much oil burning, there was no blue smoke, and it seemed to run okay, but it was running pretty hot. The dealer did a 5 thousandths over bore with new pistons and rings, and all is good now. So that means... He, at 7,000 miles, mm -hmm. his uh, uh, cylinder and rings were damaged. And then we did uh, actually got a follow-up email from him um, where the dealer gave the following reasons um, for it. Bike got overheated badly at least once, yeah. and that's what messed up the cylinders and the rings. Uh, cylinders were scored in rings, uh, Cylinders were scored and rings lost some tension due to the overheating. That resulted in excessive blow-by and crankcase pressure, which put, uh, pushed high volumes of hot, oily crankcase air through the breathers and into the throttle body. The unusually high flow carried excessive oil with, uh, along with it, more than the breathers were designed to manage. So it got through right. to the throttle body and into the combustion chamber. Uh, and then because, because it was fighting against itself, it just ran too hot. Mm -hmm. So that's one email, that's one. Yeah, yeah. and this is on a twin cam. Here's another guy, and this is with an M8. He goes, my problem is I have had my 2021 M8 Lowrider S back to the dealership on two occasions for overheating, 280 plus degrees. They keep saying it's okay when I know it's not. <laughs> yeah, they always say it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they didn't even change my oil. Two times my Harley has stopped with over with heating. So I limp it back home and check the oil. It's burnt, so I drain it and refill it with new oil. What pissed me off was my eight, M8 Lowrider is only eight months old with less than 3,000 kilometers on the clock. I turn off the motor, my motor now to save from overheating. So this guy has heating issues yeah. and he's want something done about it. Yeah, it's uh, so damn hot, the bike is shutting off. Yeah. And you know, I wanna point out something that I've noticed since we've been doing these videos. You know, Kevin and I do a lot of videos on heat and managing heat and getting those temperatures down and the importance of the bike running a little cooler because they're too hot from the factory. And it seems like every time we get comments, well, what about the bikes that are bone stock that reach 100,000 miles? The fact that that's something to brag about, that that's a, you know, a badge of honor that this, hey, I know of a bike. I know of a, my brother-in-law's cousin had a bike that reached a hundred. I know from experience, dude. You know what I mean? No, you don't. Well, not me personally, but a guy I know. The fact that you're bragging about that lets you know that, you know, it lends an eye that these bikes run too hot. If it's that's the a exception, unicorn, not the rule. If it's a unicorn that that bike reached a hundred thousand mm -hmm. miles, you know, from this point on, if you're one of those guys, start keeping score. Every time you see a bike on a forum or on the internet or on a Facebook post that's had five or 8,000 miles and just imploded due to heat, 
keep score. How many under 10,000 mile bikes are you going to find compared to how many bikes reach 100,000? Now, 100,000 is not a lot of miles. I mean, you can reach that in a few years on a bike. Uh, and chances of you reaching 100,000 miles on a bone stock bike, slim to none. Slim yeah. to none. And that's and, just fact. And, and here's the thing. Both of these comments I just read, both of these bikes are, are have serious problems, but they were both running down the road fine. Right. The fact of the matter is, is that even when the bikes have problems, even when Harley will rebuild the engine under warranty because the problem is mm -hmm. so serious, they're still running down the road. It's the same thing with my 2011 twin cam. Yeah that I knew was running too hot, that I kept trying to get them to do something on. They would go for a test ride. I rode it all over, all over the nation. It rode down the road just fine. I knew it was too hot. I knew it didn't have as much power as it had when it was new, but it still yeah. would have gone probably 100,000 miles without grenading but it still had a serious problem that they didn't find until they did a leak down test, which by the way, um, one of the videos we're going to do in the not too distant future is a leak down test on several bikes so people can see how easy it is yeah. to do and they don't let the dealers just push them off and go, oh, you don't need a leak down test, it's gonna cost this much or it's really, <laughs> really involved it's not involved at all right. so we're going to do a video yeah. on that now if you guys are finding this video helpful or informative please hit that notification bell subscribe to the channel and follow us because it really helps us out and a thumbs up and give a us thumbs a big up. thumbs up yeah. that just gives you a flavor i mean we get dozens if not over a hundred emails every day and of course we get lots of comments on youtube as you can see when you look at our different youtubes uh, but and then we get another how many phone calls do we get a day anywhere from 20 to 75 or yeah we get we get quite a bit of phone calls and we know what a lot of people think like you guys sell these parts of course you know it's in your best interest these part these oil coolers these electric fans they sell themselves like you know I, I can't tell you how often people call in and you know now their bike's getting rebuilt or now they've traded that bike in and now they're doing something about heat. You know, just like, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. And you know, you buy, go out and buy a bike, you put four, five, 6,000 miles on it, it overheats and grenades, you didn't know any better. You know, so now on your next bike, you know, you learn the hard way, I need an oil cooler, I need an electric fan, I need more air going mm -hmm. to this air-cooled engine. And you know, more often than not, you learn the hard way. So it's not that we're telling you this just to sell you a part. These parts sell themselves, that you know, there is a necessity Every Harley Davidson should have an oil cooler. I don't think that's up for debate. Everyone should have an oil cooler. And just a little bit on what Dwayne says, you know, from day one, we only work at developing parts for our bike that we believe is going to enhance the ride for our own bike. Yeah. And so every part that you see on our website is a part that we wanted for our own bike because we had a need or want ourselves. Absolutely. And we've made a lot of parts for our own bikes that we've never put on the website, either because we made it and we tested it, it was no good, or maybe we made it and tested it and it was really good, but it's not an easy install or we can't make it and sell it without losing money. So there's just a, a, a variety of reasons. Yeah. But you can be assured that every part that is on our website is a part that we run on one of our bikes. We would never ever, and, and then we go, if we want it, we figure other people will want it. And so that's how things end up on our website. And like Dwayne says, you either want your bike to run cooler or you don't. If you do, here's the things we've done to our bikes to make them run cooler. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can give us a call or mm -hmm. email us at support at dkcustomproducts.com. We have a whole video on how and why to cool down your twin cam in Milwaukee 8. We'll put that in the corner above. We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, give us a thumbs up. Y'all ride safe out there.